mind. We've got all of South America. Dude, they're all against me. South Dude, Americans go into spack a chat. This is an epic battle of massive proportions. Oh wait, this guy's joining Brazil's side. He's got allies. It looks like Brazil might lose this one, though. Clearing on Argentina. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, look at fucking Argentina. Are you seeing that? Hello everyone, welcome to the follow-up to the critically acclaimed South American Thunderdome. In this Victoria 2 multiplayer campaign, every country, and I mean every country, in the continent of South America has a player on it, but if you haven't watched the first part, go and watch that now. In that video, the players of South America decided that almost all of them would gang up and attack Brazil. He was defended only by the USCA in Central America and Uruguay. After a few initial battles where Brazil saw some great successes, Chile actually flipped sides and joined Brazil. But meanwhile in Central America, the USCA, despite having some successes against Ecuador, was declared on by Mexico and was one of the first casualties of the bloodbath. The other casualty in that video actually being Ecuador, but for now every other country is still there. Brazil's early victory soon turned to defeats, and he was forced back to think again and demobilise and remobilise. The main fighting in the war between the South American Hogbox and Brazil has become a sort of stalemate. Neither side can really push into the other. The Hogbox doesn't want to even attempt to siege down the vast territory of Brazil. But as the nations of South America were squabbling amongst each other, two old friends of this continent plotted their comeback. Spain launched this reconquista with an attack on Argentina. Argentina actually surrendered this war fairly instantly, because for some reason Spain only wanted to take the lowest populated regions of Argentina down in Patagonia. Argentina decided to surrender that land so that Spanish troops wouldn't interfere with their war against Brazil, which was the priority. But the South American Hogbox is about to find out that these two old empires aren't stopping there. Those 25k pops were only the beginning. Meanwhile, I'm watching all of this from the comfy position of Canada, released by the UK as a technically free and independent nation, although diplomatically I am subservient to them. Through some really awkward close-run battles, we did manage to defeat the USA and have taken some of his most populated states. Killing a really big important country on day one using overwhelming power isn't pretty, but a lot of United Kingdom players want to go down this route because we all know how the USA will get really strong in the late game and threaten them. They would much rather replace the USA with a friendly Canada who will always be their ally. Having said that, the USA is by no means dead yet, they still have a very strong chance of coming back, especially with that general they have. So please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoy. Paraguay player left. I think I'm gonna switch to Paraguay if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Valk left. Sad. I don't think he's gonna be upset. Paraguay. No, he's fine, dude. He can only play the first session anyways. Just hopping on to make sure a war happened down there. Oh, we have to do a three-way transfer. We have to do a three-way transfer, Plastic. Yeah, I know, I know, I'll get someone. <laughs> I was really hoping there. Uh, uh, Pennsylvania to Canada, three-way transfer. You, it'll make it a colony if you do that with me. Oh, oh right. right. Yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Nah, I would be. <laughs> you fucking hijacked that fucking Mexican war. This is what we agreed on. I'm going to transfer it to him. Uh, okay, all right, all right. That's what we agreed on for Texas. Yeah, I tell you who we can get. We can get... Virtual Rock on Sweden to do the transfer. Virtual Rock, we need your services for an infamy transfer. Are you interested? 
Not an in-free transfer, sorry, what the fuck, I just mean a, a three-way transfer. A three-way transfer. Virtual Rock. <laughs> he's not here. Virtual I'm Rock. I'm trying to more because of machine uh, car stuff. Uh, he's, he just had a shot of heroin. Virtual Rock. Listen, yeah, can you do a three-way transfer? Are you available? I'm not in the game. Oh my god, who is in the <laughs> fucking game? <laughs> who is in the game? I, I, let's ask fucking Kimmy or Multiquick. No, not Multiquick, what the fuck, he would probably like scam us. <laughs> ah, true. He'd fucking keep Pennsylvania and say full fucking siege me down. Bring um, bring multi quick in, please. And I'm multi. -quake. No, <laughs> as an accident. Multi would give it back to me, and I'd, I'd give him fifty p for it. I'll go get Timmy. All right. We require a three-way transfer, Timmy. You down? Take Pennsylvania for me, and then give it to Spud. Okay. Spain has his entire army here. Europe do is nothing. You are also hook boxing us. Europe does nothing. It's South America Pierre Uda makes us all. Use your fucking brain dude. Sorry mum boy literally no one cares about bobo naciones in South America. The 20 division hook box. That's a lot. For South America. Pizot for Venezuela and it's good bro. And isn't it only 20 because they are all dead? Also mom boy you que cooked us out of Brazil because es betting money on this shit so oh, 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 sorry but we tried lol. I never cooked you out of Brazil. That was plastics diplo. With so you que gets money if we win? E as game. Probablemente we is doing nothing. Us. But continue. Until they attack. They attacked him fin he is us. Me need to a ghost for Brazil. Right, Jack, just as an FYI, what? we're allowed to force people, right, like... Hello? Where, what's the problem? Who are you well, at war we're at war with Venezuela and Peru. Boy <coughs> is antiguing, but I'm just... I, the argument I made, though, is, well, it doesn't matter, because we'll just full siege down Venezuela and then force peace Venezuela out. You gotta fucking full siege him down, dude. I mean, it's the same in fucking... Thing. We can we can oh force peace like God. a separate piece, right? Force separate piece and then like I don't know, do whatever with Peru. Dude, just stop being a bitch, man. Just go siege them down, man. Both of them. You guys want to play the South America game? Go siege all of them down. Mm. That's what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be the same in the other one. You, you can know? force peace by. For the Dude, how is this yeah. a problem? Like, why are you bringing this to me? What are you like, fucking thirty IQ? <laughs> just, like, like, just go fight them. You're better than this, Yo Yo Kaiser. Oh, it doesn't matter. Bolivia's fucking joined anyway, so I can't force peace out Venezuela. So, uh, fuck enough. Bolivia. Chargo cracks their skulls open, dude. That's what you gotta do. Yeah, we'll get your skulls cracked. It looks like a bunch of countries actually died down there, so... Yeah. For as dumb as Portugal and Spain are, they're going in and removing players from South America. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what the... <laughs> Crisis. Plastic, um, back me, plastic, back me, plastic, back me, plastic. I'm thinking of that, I'm, I'm kidding. What the fuck is that? Austria. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> this is okay. Paraguay left the war. Imagine my surprise. Oh, we've got a neutral. Apparently there's a rule dispute about Paraguay. I don't know what to think of it, but... Who cares about Paraguay? I'm moving to it. Just when we thought we could advance the game a little bit, there's a, a neutral province dispute in South America. <laughs> you add your gun join on Paraguay and flip. Plastic letting Pierre throw his guns around for cinco quid. Did you have guns? Not European ones. You keep saying this dude. Like... You're getting a spine to land in specific spots. Every you want to with you are a people you want an ex. Why to a? I legit never organized this with you que la mao. Now it Pierre. Plastic just sitting there. Which TVH it is South America. I mean we are just taking stuff from Venezuela so you can surrender to all. ¿Por qué no te callas? Por favor no hagamos diálogo. Han tenido tiempo para plantear su posición. 
No, yeah. escalate the transfer wars. <laughs> yeah, name I don't know. I'm, I'm bad at My justification's almost done. Oh no, he got me first. All right, do it one at a time. I'm Move your ships out of the English Channel so I can blockade you to add. Yep, I got you. So you can start moving them out whenever. We could just do this with such fucking ruthless efficiency. Oh my god, you said move them out whenever, I just move them out in this oh. battle. Uh oh. We no, did escalate it. it. We did fucking escalate it. At this moment, expert marks from the post a get real emoji. Or <laughs> See, some, someone did. How did the North American bloodbath go, by the way? That was good. Solid war. We won. South American started the early. Still going on. Alright, send that to me. Sure thing. Alright, there we fucking go. Oh, beautiful. That's so cheesy. Goes from one and root war exhaustion Uruguay to Paraguay, swap sides. I can see why all of the rest games died do. Cry more. It appears winning this because Spain and Portugal are picking off the South Americans one by one. Lots of Argentina are already like a quarter Spanish. Like one state is a quarter <laughs> Spanish already. Spain is rampaging. Okay. Yeah, they, they full siege Tanky Warrior. Oh. You're having to call in Euro is dude in loving it. You know we have only been fighting your armies. Spain got Argentina to 45. Cop. Full siege Venezuela, and then landed on Peru. I have also been used to either arrest arme. I notice she do cause if don't descend. This literalmente has nothing to do with Pierre Batoque lol. Yeah that's we you're a to him. Spain, Portugal, flipping Paraguay jijibra. Dictat for vision literalmente nothing deeper than that. Literally only one because Argentina crashed and there was no AI. Yo call the force the reloaded to be honest. It's actually a fucking amazing Canada to be honest. Didn't think it'd go this well. Yeah, it's pretty good. Maybe I shouldn't have put you on the roster. I'm too good. Yeah, Zombie would have balanced his best. He would have forced you to play in Europe against your will. If this was Reno rules, we wouldn't have been able to attack Will because he was at war with a USCA player. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Reno rules. Oh, the USCA player fucking died. Yeah. 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 Oh, look at Venezuela! <laughs> yeah, it's oh, oh, it's like he just got, he just got, uh, nicked oh, by Portuguese oh Venezuela. <laughs> Spain's taking the, Spain's oh taking the stuff oh, in America. Oh, multi-quick, thank you, warrior. <laughs> They're partitioning the Americas. And thank you, warrior's not even gonna quit. He got knocked down, but he's gonna get up again. You can mark my words. Surrender, Surrender to Kut Pierre. Easy. Easy. Everyone was it easy, got stuck with multiple times but ok. Cop. I mean it's true but ok. Cop, you had Spain and Portugal. Enjoy getting partitionado. I'm only joking with you. No hard feelings. Also we can't take care Brazil out he can just drag the war out forever lol. Jijito. I mean it was a good war. I enjoyed it. Yeah it was fun. Was a decent war. Yeah was fun. It was nice having a war with solitaire troops.
Yeah, what the yeah. fuck happened to the map in South America? It looks so fucked uh, up. A lot of shit happened, dude. Like, Spain's crawling. It's it's quite we all lose to Spain, who annexes us all. I'm, I'm I was saying this to you, you're like, nah. You know what, Pierre? I'm, uh, actually, I'm actually gonna re ally. No, 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 I need. I, I, I can't have any alliances, please. Uh, <laughs> bro, oh my yeah, God. ally me, bro. We'll mess with ally. No, 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 no. I'm trying to ally Uruguay, but I have too many alliances, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, Pierre, 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 Pierre. Everyone, everyone ally Pierre. Why do you also, want to ally Uruguay? Because he's going to he's he's attack oh, by Argentina. Moonboy, yeah, yeah. Moonboy. That can be off because I didn't see what happened, but with Kaiser doing that shit, I can understand why. So you're not obligated. Oh, I mean, I wasn't. Yeah. I would. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I respect that. Moonboy, I'm not that scummy, yeah, yeah. and I'm Honestly, definitely not. That I actually, scummy. I actually respect. I respect that. Making things happen. Yeah, yeah. look what he did. Pissed off some redditors. <laughs> Yeah. Killed some people real Dude, quick. The fucking chat was molding. As long as Kaiser and Multiquick don't take their foot off the pedal, mm. <laughs> that would make that would make me not respect. Yeah, so There's no one there. left for me to jump in now. Speaking of multi-attacking me, is it fine if I go because I? That I cannot do anything. I, I, I've spent yeah, so much I mean, of this. Listen, well, listen, Pleasanton Bear. You only have 10 minutes left. Just finish the session, dude. So. Oh, I'll stick around for the, for the end of the session. All so right. Let's all believe we can make it to 36, though. Let's everyone <laughs> yeah, yeah. join hands. Dare to believe. Kumbaya. If we go six speed, Zamrock can come and we can yeah, make Zamrock it to 37. Show, if we go six speed, Zamrock will show up. Yeah, and we can make it to 37. But that was a fun war, thanks. It was fun. It was, um, yeah, it was really close, doing. actually. Multi, no, I mean, Multi like, didn't even yeah. announce, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah didn't even yeah. announce he was coming in. He's just coming in watching. <laughs> uh... Come here, Multi, I'm gonna fucking shoot you. Let's fucking go. <laughs> there you go, Multi. Eat shit. 78 casualties, eat shit. Five hundred K casualties in South America in eighteen thirty-six. Right. I'm quite sure <laughs> for that. So let's literally this double my total head. population at this time. Let's literally ten times the population of Paraguay. Oh I lost like half my pop. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, as you can see in the peace deal at the end of the South American Thunderdome War, Brazil, Paraguay and Chile ripped apart Peru and Bolivia. Paraguay, who was originally declared on by Brazil to start this whole war, was rewarded for switching sides to join Brazil by getting his core region off of Bolivia, which is populated by about 15k people, the vast majority of whom are actually accepted pops of Paraguay, the Guarani culture, and those aren't accepted by Bolivia, so there's some fascinating accepted pop disputes going on in South America. Brazil took one region from Bolivia and one region from Peru. Anyone who's played down here in South America before will know that the region that Brazil took from Bolivia, La Paz, is a really good region with lots and lots of pops. It's most of Bolivia's pops as well. As for the region he took from Peru, well that's about 100k pops which is about a quarter of Peru's starting pops. I don't think it's possible to have a legendary South America Thunderdome battle royale down there without at least a couple of people switching sides. And I believe that Chile's great betrayal of the South American hug box switching sides to join Brazil was actually the most important thing down here and it's why they won the war. That switch actually happened in the previous video and I wasn't privy to any of the discussions and diplomacy that led to it, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory why this happened. He originally went along with this hug box idea against Brazil, but then he was convinced to switch sides against the countries he could actually expand against, Argentina, Bolivia and Peru. He didn't just defend Brazil on the battlefield, he became a great defender in the chat as well, arguing for their position. He clearly didn't like the big hug box against Brazil, so he may not have switched sides out of pure self-interest, but it was also the self-interested move, as you can see by how well he was rewarded in the peace deal. He got three states, all of which are actually his core, one of them from Bolivia and two of them from Peru. Why do I say Chile was the most important factor in this war? Well, it was a really close war, so Chile tipped the balance in favour of Brazil. Paraguay switching sides is a lot more controversial. It was rather scummy for the Uruguay player to move to Paraguay and then switch sides to join his former ally in the war that was originally declared against Paraguay, but that was the whole point of this South American Thunderdome. This was a battle royale continent where anything goes, and what happens in South America stays in South America. The northernmost province that Paraguay starts with is a core of Brazil, with a population of 5k, 40% of which are Brazilians.
The loss of a Uruguay player wasn't just a blow to the hug box because he switched Paraguay to the other side, they actually had Uruguay fully sieged down and having them sieged down, a player on it, was actually a really good bargaining chip or a tool they could use. They could have potentially separately force annexed them out of the war. Despite having the least pops in South America, Uruguay actually had the best general in South America, the 3-3. But Uruguay's entire army was wiped at some point. Also Brazil failed to get that alliance with the AI Uruguay towards the end of the session. Breaking all his alliances wasn't enough, so Argentina did manage to deck on Uruguay to annex them. Another thing I'd like to point out that the Hugbox could have done in regards to the Spanish and Portuguese invasions was that every single member of the alliance probably should have joined Argentina when Spain decked on them. Not because they could have put up an actual fight against Spain and Portugal, but because this would have put them all on a truce. They couldn't then deck on Venezuela for example. Now all of them joining means that Spain and Portugal would have had free reign to take whatever land they like from all of the Hugbox if they surrendered it, or if they didn't surrender it Spain and Portugal would start invading them, but still it would have been a better outcome. It would have really slowed down Spain and Portugal and limited the amount of war score they could use at any given time. Peru and Bolivia did the right thing by joining the Venezuela war, but it was too late by then. Diplomatically speaking, Spain and Portugal weren't really allied or coordinating with Brazil. It was just convenience and they just happened to be fighting the same enemy. As we know, they originally wanted to attack Brazil, Imagine that. But the UK prevented that, so they did the next best thing and attacked the other side. Did Spain and Portugal cause Brazil to win? No, not really, I've already gone over it. Chile was actually the important factor. Spain and Portugal took out Venezuela, but their army amounted to 3k troops, as you saw at the start. And the land they took from Argentina, just an empty wasteland with barely any pops. So at this point you're probably wondering, what is the final body count? Well this is the part where I actually have quite bad news for you. None of the players in South America survived session 1. I'll go through the body count properly for you. It started off with the two deaths in the previous video, Ecuador and the USCA of course. Then right at the start of this one, the Uruguay player moved off to Paraguay. Then Portugal annihilated Venezuela. Peru and Bolivia were devastated in the peace deal by Brazil and Chile. Portugal then subsequently annihilated Colombia. Now we're left with the countries that did technically survive to the end of session 1, but basically none of them showed up to play their countries again in session 2. The countries that survived the Thunderdome, even Brazil, were not in a good shape after that. Spending the first years of the game in a brutal death war is really bad. It's one thing to turn up and play in a novelty campaign with every country in South America filled for a really fun war that they all enjoyed. It's another thing to actually try and see a whole campaign through on these little terrible countries with barely any pops. Furthermore, it's almost a guarantee that they will die to future Spanish and Portuguese reconquest, so don't judge these people too harshly for not showing up again. Except maybe Brazil, which is the only real viable country left down here. It'll take a lot of time and determination, but they can recover. Anyway, the campaign continues to session 2, and in a surprise turn of events, it was the Peru player, Moonboy, who turned out to play Brazil from now on. So in a very strange way, Peru, who sort of seemed to me like the leader of the Hugbox, he'll go on to be the only player on a South American country, going from a campaign where we started with every country filled, to session 2 where we just have one. And we'll see in future videos how that one player does, and how he interacts with the Spanish and Portuguese, and what happens there. But it will no longer be the South American Thunderdome. That story is now over. And if you enjoyed that story, you should like the video and subscribe and join the channel membership, support me on Patreon, join my Discord and follow me on Twitter and all of that stuff. As I've said, there will be more videos from this campaign and we'll see more of my Canada and many other great stories. So thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.